they're always interested in you rather than themselves and it, they're just wonderful to be around. He loved the customer. He loved the customer. That was a big thing with Leon. You know, they haven't lost that, uh, that, that common touch with the people um, that they run into and come into contact with. 51 years ago this month, Leon Levine, the son of a retailer from Rockingham, North Carolina, opened the first family dollar store on Central Avenue in Charlotte. He was 22 years old. Today, Family Dollar is over 6,600 retail outlets with distribution centers in nine states. I had an idea for a store that was different from the normal. Our primary uh, desire was to give our customers the very best value we could. And it, it was something magic about walking into a store and being able to buy anything you want and not be over $2. He had an idea. And he took that idea and he just knew that from the first store on Central Avenue, he was going to have a lot of stores. He had a lot of employees. When he had those employees, the man was the most loyal person you could ever meet. But you had to work for him. It was not a giveaway. You worked for Leon. And if you worked for him, he treated you fairly. Leon Levine was always generous in the community. In 1980, he formed the Leon Levine Foundation to support causes they believe in education, health care, Jewish religion, and human services. What's been so really fascinating to me is to see how Sandra has such a wide interest in the needs of this community. We don't just talk about the cultural interest, though, she, as you know, that is very important to her. More and more when we get together, we talk about the needs of the poor, the working poor, the homeless, this is an area where I think she has gained tremendous knowledge and where I believe she has a great interest at this time. If you look at the things that we've done, uh, such as uh, healthcare, uh, human services, education, we uh, uh, tend to choose things that have the greatest impact on the greatest number of people in our community. I think the questions for the 21st century aren't just how many buildings we can build, but it's how qualitatively can we build people. The Levines like to challenge others to lead and give back. At UNC Charlotte, they created 60 merit-based Levine scholars, in part to develop the next generation of civic leadership in the Carolinas. It's our premier uh, scholarship program. They have a big commitment to public service, which is uh, part of the program that the Levines wanted to train uh, students to be leaders in this community. Ultimately, our hope is that they will remain in Charlotte and uh, contribute to our community. I think what we're trying to do is to uh, show by our example that others should help, even if they do it at a much smaller scale, that any amount really helps. And the more people you can get that way, the more it would be uh, improvement for the county and the city and the state. And I'm real happy to have all the company we can get. <laughs> For their personal commitment to their business, their leadership in the community, and their generous philanthropy, Leon and Sandra Levine are the 2010 Charlotte Chamber of Commerce Citizens of the Carolinas. <laughs>